Last time on Game Grumps. Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. <laughs> Sponsored by RPGs. You can go get them at RPGs.com or GameGrumps.com. <laughs> she made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. My long history of rejection from women prepared me deeply for this moment. <laughs> Is this thing real? Oh! <laughs> it like legitimately scared me. Joe! It's a chicken. It really is it's right. Like, I could say that for sure. Well, yeah, but you're making me doubt it with all I your know. questions. Turn down for what? 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 Hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Hello, and welcome back. Aaron has just watched the Turn Down For What <laughs> boat video that was... <laughs> Sweeping the nation nine uh, years ago. <laughs> that's fun. Y'all right? I've never seen it before. It's hysterical. Like, that's amazing. It's, it's 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 really what it is. Is the guy? It's the it's the guy driving yeah, the, the boat. The, the boat driver. Because <laughs> like his his face plant is astonishing. <laughs> the, it's just it's for anybody who's an animator. It's like it's like he tweens down. Like it's like a really bad tween. Like it doesn't feel. Like a natural movement, it it feels like totally fake. He just woof, like immediately goes down. It's fucking wow. Uh. And and it, and it really is like um, a weird mixture of uh, extreme empathy for the people on the boat because that had to yeah. hurt, um, and also like uncontrollable. I can't help but laugh. Oh yeah, it's you know? total Schadenfreude. It's, yeah, yeah, I, oof, man. But I, I do feel bad for the people. Like, the guy driving the boat probably was showing off a little bit, and, um, perhaps hit a wake and brought that on himself a touch. Uh, but the people on the boat with him, man, they, they didn't, they didn't sign up for that <laughs> shit. Uh, turned down for what? <laughs> But you know what? They they must have a good sense of humor because they did upload it to the That's internet. That's true. Like no one had access to that uh to that footage besides them. I don't know. Maybe it was like a boat rental and like the guy just records everything that happens on the boat and then <laughs> he got it back and he was like, "Oh, oh. this is hysterical." He was like, Jet <laughs> <laughs> 18 million views. Here we come." <laughs> All right. All right. Please continue. Uh, after one after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long, everyone made their way to the dining hall. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. Everyone else was dead. It would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Also, I would cream anybody's volleyball for really doing that. Besides, don't be a sourpuss. <laughs> yeah. Your best friend here died like... 13 hours yeah. ago. Don't be such a negative Nancy in the murder school. Even if one more person dies, we can still field a basketball team. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway. <laughs> Meaning ne negative yeah. thinking? <laughs> anyway, there's no time to be depressed, guys. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. All right. What did everyone discover? Owie, you go yeah. first. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor front to back. That used to be kind of sucker's job, but anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. <laughs> Tell me about the layout of the school! Just a second. <laughs> You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? So then. Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Oh. A floor? <laughs> no. <laughs> something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor? Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. I mean, five stories is pretty fucking tall. Hmm. Yeah, it's a fairly tall building. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. <laughs> the, the mystery of where the sixth floor went? 
No. <laughs> But that's the hard. <laughs> but that's the hardest part. It's like now it's since we know it's only the fifth floor. The underlying mystery has begun. It's like it's a building. It has to stop at some point. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Even if it's hard, why did they stop building? What are they hiding in the sky? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, he is right. <laughs> that's what she <laughs> said. Yes, <laughs> it was like I. I hate that's what she said jokes, but man, was, sometimes you just gotta Sometimes you just gotta spike the volleyball that's set I up know. in front of you, you know? That's a... Yeah, it's because there's six enough people for a volleyball team. Monokuma would come out and be like, You did it! You, man, that's what he said jokes! We're out of here! That's what she said. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, I'm not. I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes! Yeah, the the we is is a malleable term <laughs> that could mean a lot of different things, but someone will make it out of yeah. here probably. My concern is with the bib lab. Bio lab. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My concern is with the bib lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. I'm a messy eater, so it's troubling that I wasn't able to get in. <laughs> the bib lab, huh? I mean bio lab. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's in there! Why would they need a whole lab for it? <laughs> if this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant, or... Oh, wow. That's... You're straight up making yeah. a Capcom Resident Evil reference, huh? I love it. We're not in a horror game, though! Ha 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 ha. Either... <laughs> <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. <laughs> that was the smartest, dumbest thing I've ever heard you say, <laughs> yeah. Bianca. Yeah. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. I don't really like how you- I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? The question is why you said it, but not where, because I know that. The dining hall. <laughs> no. <laughs> How I said it is right oh too. Oh my god, shut up, you stupid insufferable prick. <laughs> hey Bianca, it seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> Jesus, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on. Hmm. Well, Toko. If you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. Wow, he's the coolest. You honor me, master. And don't worry, I, I took care of the order problem. Ah, uh, you're the ultimate douchebag. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna take it? Shut up, and don't interrupt when master and me are talking. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was this! A knife! Oh crap. No. <laughs> not, not, sorry, that's my knife. Woo, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. What? It's a survival knife of some type. Except for those who get stabbed with it. Then it's an anti-survival <laughs> knife. But what was it doing in a classroom? How should I know? Very suspicious. What are you gonna use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a, a, a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Seems kind of unfair, Toko. I think he's yeah. got a point. Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? Stab Yakuya? We're gonna stab Yakuya, right? Yeah. Well, you did put that brick in my face, so what am I gonna do with it? What am I gonna do with it? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I don't know- I don't want it anyway, it's too dangerous! Uh. I can barely get my hands around it! <laughs> yeah, even with two hands, it's still like holding a tree trunk! Mmm, so, so what to do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? We all trust you for no reason. Huh? Me? <laughs> 
Yeah, you're the ultimate clueless dumbass. <laughs> yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. I left that. Well, hold on, don't I get a say? It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. Okay, so, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I could do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Hear that, everybody? I'll keep it in my desk drawer! <laughs> anyway, it's unlocked! <laughs> anyway, then that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Uh, do, do I still have bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. <gasps> Huh? Huh? Did Master just praise me? Thank hey, you. <laughs> I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. Uh, that would never. I would never. That I would never. That I would. Uh, let me start over. Uh, Aaron, take a breath. <laughs> that I would ever experience such a dream. Uh, uh, I feel so strange. Ah, uh, so strange. Really. Strange. Oh no. <laughs> Can we put this on the internet? <laughs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. <laughs> oh jeez. You and me yeah. both, Hero. Let's talk to you, Hero. You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried <laughs> Five about. Five things to be exact. Yeah. It's a chicken squad. <laughs> okay. And they've got a pullet surprise. <laughs> <laughs> the pullet surprise joke always fucking yeah. kills me. Uh, all right, let's see what's to a stupidly large plant. What, what about the stupidly large plant? Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. For serious. It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Can we talk about something else? Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Uh, it's a fate worse than anything else that could happen. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? Jeez. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. What, what are we talking um, about here? I think you're thinking of ducks. Oh. I'm, idiot. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. You can insinuate it so I won't understand. <laughs> I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. So, uh, what was the question again? Don't worry, you just answered it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, hard. All right, time to talk to my favorite guy. <sighs> oh, sorry. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. Oh, right. Oh, wait. We should... She would say... We should say, um... Hero had a bunch of other purple things that you could click on in that statement. Oh, so we should talk to might be. Again. Yeah. yeah. No problem. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. Oh, countless corpses is a great no, 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 name no, 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 for I metal loved band. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about the smell of fat blood and bone. <laughs> the smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's sm everybody's smell concentrated. Huh? It was like a cannibal corpse concert. Oh. Or a sepulchre show. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But, but I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So, in other words, I can only think of one thing: a party, dance revolution. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there. Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Perhaps that's what was meant by. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is... 
The mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. Oh, the tragedy or whatever? Yes. The awful scene in that room! That was the tragedy that happened a year ago. In other words... Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If, if that's true... It's all clear now. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Close the doors and bolt them shut. Not just awful, super awfully awful. Thank you. I have contributed a lot. Yeah. If you need any more from me, I'll yeah, be over here. <laughs> Great job, Dr. Seuss. That's right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. But still. It was too awful with a bat. It was too awful in a hat. <laughs> Thank you, Hina. How, how is it not one of us ever heard about some- How is it not one of us- Am I reading this right? How is it not- Yeah, how is it not one of us ever heard oh, about Oh, I see. Something how like is it happened? not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Let's talk to him a little bit more, get some more pink action. You know? Big garden, super large- uh, A chicken coop? Chicken co-op? There were a bunch of chickens in the chicken co-op, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Five. Five chickens. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I love chickens! Let's raise them up big and fat, then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Oh, whoa! Or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? I mean, we could all get sick and die, what? but... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. Girl that just called me dumb. <laughs> yeah. And I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. What do you mean? You noticed that too, huh? That pickaxe. What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? It uh was a pickaxe. Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words "crazy diamond" have been carved into the handle. Haven't? As if it wanted me to shine on. <laughs> Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Crazy Diamond. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Where? Oh. Oh, whoops. That was me. Dang. Do you remember? No. Oh. Good. Makoto does. <laughs> oh, that's it. I remember. Just in case y'all at home forgot. Oh. Oh! It was on Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy diamond! <laughs> I see. You're absolutely right. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. Then, Genius. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here and Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Maybe Mondo's motorcycle gang was sponsored by a pickaxe company. I, I got it! <laughs> well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we could use it to call for help. Oh, yeah? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? All right. Okay, I'll bite. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. Well? We could use those to call for help. What the heck happened to you? <laughs> You were once so smart. Now, things have gone awry. You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. You know? Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solidified <laughs> yet. The writers didn't give me a lot to do, yeah. frankly. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Alright. Hm. Great. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo. So, now what do we do? Well, well, have you ever heard of the biscuit well, game? <laughs> you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. <laughs> Starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. 
Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. And take it from a guy whose hair is very close to busting through the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. So, what is it you want to figure out? 10 plus 10, that question you asked earlier? Can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Kyoko's identity. Duh! Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty mysterious, huh? What about it? Kyoko's identity, but Kyoko is Kyoko, right? It's Kyoko, Kyoko, Kyoko. Yes, but who is she? Um... <laughs> What's her astrological sign? <laughs> yeah. The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina is the ultimate swimming pro. Hiro is the ultimate clairvoyant. Even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, um... Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? It's like, why should we even care? She's the ultimate mystery. <laughs> it is, it's not matter of who, who, oh my God. It's not matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? I'm the ultimate trustworthy person. <laughs> we need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So Kyoko, it's time you told us. <laughs> I can't. <gasps> Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? <laughs> I'm in the ultimate bind. What do you mean? <laughs> because I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> I have no memory of what I I'm have. the ultimate amnesiac. <laughs> yeah, that's... I did not see that coming. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. And if I were laughing, it would be a joke. <laughs> you can't be serious right now, can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me. I'm the ultimate skeptic. <laughs> yeah. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. Yeah, I'm the ultimate deflector. I'm the ultimate optimist. No. <laughs> So you have no intention of telling us? Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. I have to kill <laughs> you! What are you going to do? Torture me? Hmm. Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. <laughs> what? What's suspicious? Limit my options. Just give up. Give me the key <laughs> to your room. <laughs> Yakya, yeah, that's not how you do it, man. <laughs> yeah. Just give me one night out, Italian maybe. But if she gives you her room key, she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking its school regulation. Oh God, I got something caught in my throat. Sorry. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. That's fine. What are your interests? Where do you like to go on a first date? <laughs> Fine. I understand. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. <laughs> Makoto's like, don't worry, you can stay in my room, Kyoko. And she's like, okay, cool. And Byaka's like, damn it! Fuck! <laughs> Backfires every time. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and said... And held out her room key to him. Did, did, did I read that wrong? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I don't know why. Yeah. Hell, uh, we are losing our yeah. minds. It can't be. You damn fool. That smile. That <laughs> damn smile. Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. However... The worst school, where only the worst things happen? Do you really mean that? What about middle school? Yeah. Huh? Hey. I met the love of my life, Makoto, here. <laughs> Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. <laughs> Oh no, I've said like, too much. 
Like, doesn't at least a part of you find this kind of hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Hate Come to on. see you go. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of All you. Alright, I trust her. Do Except mysteriously disappear. One of you will end up- Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room and she said her last words. What's her deal? I don't know, but those were her last words. I don't think you went too far. I think you went too far, is what I meant to say. Taking her room key like that. For her, that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she gets off with the intention. I can't believe her enjoying it and yell at. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but she's hero, yeah, not yeah. helping. I know she really sucks and I hate her, but what's Kyoko gonna do now? Plus the situation, it's just like before. It's no different from what- No one fight- No one fights the thought of Toko dying more awesome than me, <laughs> but we have to be cool. <laughs> It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura! And I... Well, I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. Kia! What the... What? What the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause, cause look! Oh. Ah, shit. It's you! How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very angry! Angry of what? I'm the thief! Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your midst! Huh? What? My precious! My precious. The stolen! Your precious? Your teacher had such faith What's... in you. And this is how you repay me with betrayal? What's taters, precious? <laughs> Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um, but what the heck is your precious? Shut up! How about if you get stuck in a hiring freeze or die penniless on the street? What? Yeah. The heck? Potatoes. <laughs> Oil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Oil them, mash them, stick them. And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? He said something about his precious getting stolen. Did everybody hear that? I just want to make sure that I heard that, that he talked about his precious. Does anybody have any idea what that might mean? It likely has something to do with Kyoko. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, sure. Huh? Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? And, th like, there's no evidence for that at all. Yeah. <sighs> Ding dong, big bong. Ding dong, big bong. All right. So be it. <coughs> nope, 10 p.m. Nighttime. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Don't let the bank yeah, all right. <laughs> well, he got there fast, huh? Uh, we need to get out of here. You know? We could talk about this more tomorrow, and about Kyoko. Hmm. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. Tonight. <laughs> oh lord. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms. Don't go wandering outside. No. Don't give your keys to weirdos like <laughs> me. Not like we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Against my will. <laughs> Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Ah, that's right. I need to put away the knife I got from Toko. Probably what Monokuma was talking about, but I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really gonna be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she gonna do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... Do? Da, da. Ding, da, da, ding dong. <laughs> Who could it possibly be? 
As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the ding dong doorbell? Door. <gasps> what a surprise! She's alive. Kyoko. I've been waiting for you in the dressing room. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. <laughs> Sorry, I have trouble with tenses. See you there. Hey, hey, wait, Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. Oh, boy. Dope. <laughs> Get undressed. <gasps> okay. Sorry for asking you to meet me with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Correct. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean, does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him, and Byakuya accused you with no basis. Was it you? Indeed. That's oh. right. <laughs> so I was right. Well... Yakuya was right, but... Yeah, and all he figured out was that she was the only one who wasn't in the room. <laughs> but what did you steal? So... I stole this. <gasps> A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? I will f so... From... Oh, I'll tell you next time I... Oh, fuck! All right, is the headmaster? From the headmaster. Oh, okay. Room. Well, what does that mean? Whoa! But still. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. I got a fucking piss. <laughs>